Same way. I have been in court. I have written the lawsuits. I have made the mistakes. I've been through all these stupid things, all the landmines that you can step on, I stepped on and survived to stand up here and say, don't go there. Don't do it. When I write a lawsuit for you in quantum grammar under the document, contract, federal, postal, vessel, because paper is a vessel, federal court venue, don't go into the United States District Court and talk to these people. They are a fiction. They are a foreign vessel. You are not in Indiana. You are in the Indiana Territory. Stay in your territory. In 48 days, we will file a fault judgment because if they don't sign the contract, I have a contract to dock my correct vessel as the correct court, as the correct judge, and the clerk of the court now becomes the correct judge. In the event that clerk will not sign the correct document and be part of that, it goes to the U.S. Attorney's Office, goes, excuse me, goes to the Attorney General's Office, who then will prosecute the case under the False Claims Act for forensic evidence. You'll get your money. Then it goes to your labor, goes to Tyrone Williams in Arkansas, who is working with the Attorney General and the IRS as our collection agency because they want their million and a half dollars for every lawsuit I write. And we're gonna pay out next week on these. So uh, this is a real thing that's really happening and we have cooperation from over 1,000 attorney generals across the United States, both attorneys and assistants, yes. Yeah, they were, I was told last week, Monday, that we got 10 days till payout, which is next week. So, If yours went in before March 6th, you'd be in that, that group. Okay. The ones that we filed were dated for the last three and a half years, which were settled on March 6, uh, 2012, in California. And those are the groups that are being paid out right now. And there's, they have a continuous rotation now that each one of the quantum cases that comes in is a signed confession. The banks already confessed that these are legitimate, so they will be paid as fast as they come in or, or negotiated. Yes? I have a couple of questions on our, for one, the mortgage fraud suit. I think you indicated that we were supposed to initially send that to our cell in registered mail to get the, get the corporation number to get it. Your corporation number was sent on your fault judgment. It's already been filed for you. I did it. Everybody that has cases in here with me, your cases have already been filed, registered mail. I have your serial numbers. They're in my book. If you don't have a copy of it, I mean, if you physically do not have a copy of it, I have it stuck in my book. Okay, but yeah, ours was blank. Right, okay. but you would fill those in after the fact. But I have copies of those already, and they're registered. All 64 million mortgages in the United States were set up by the banking industry to be a fraud, established in 1934 to be harvested. When the, end of, when the year of Jubilee ended, the anywhere from six to nine-page documents that were used prior to that were all null and void. And in the second of January, no, second of February 2000. A new contract was issued by the United States Department of Housing and bankers uh, under the, from the post office and was standardized throughout the United States. There are variables between private investors and the industry and the National Banking Association. There's a slight variables. They had to file, follow the same criterias, but I have 38 different copies of banks that I've done. So what's, what's happening is I've syntaxed all of the 38 different mortgages. They take about 40 hours apiece to, to syntax. And then I just I match them up to make sure that everything is, and it's already been recertified by college professors and university professors and U.S. attorney's offices all over the United States as this guy knows what he's doing. This is a math procedure. This thing cannot be defeated. It's been tested in, in 150 languages in every country of the world. It's been proven to be an original program from A to Z. The website, my books, all original, no plagiarizing. I know of three people that tried to plagiarize and charge people $1,500 to come to a seminar to, to mimic my website, talk about the videos on my website, 
and then sell postal badges to people for $2,200, thinking they wouldn't have to pay taxes. Do I literally just copy everything, or do I have to apply a new stamp and reset? Oh, no, that you have to do. You have to put a new stamp on any new thing. Do not photocopy postage stamps. Postage stamps are legal money. You get copy, you get, you get caught photocopying postage stamps. That's counterfeiting. That's serious. So don't don't do that, please. Just for your own public for your for your safety, because then you're going to be the the government makes photocopies and they keep it electronically held in the computer. But that's Title 18, Section 1341, 43, mail fraud, wire fraud, to copy a lawsuit and put it into a computer. They have to maintain my lawsuits bonded together as a hard copy paper in the judge's, chief judge's vault. It's not even allowed to be filed in the record room. You can go file and come back tomorrow and say, we don't know who you are, you, didn't, you weren't here. That's because the chief judge has it and they assign a new case number. They take and they put a, another United States District Court paper over our heading and they photocopy it into the computer so if anybody comes looking, which would be an attorney or a judge or a lawyer, that they're only going to see United States District Court bringing you into their fiction under a brand new case number. Don't touch it. It's not your name. It's not your case number. It's not your venue. It's not your grammar. You've got 48 days. They don't do it right. We sue them for fault. Done deal. Attorney General takes it because they're getting $20 million, $20 million a pop off of these pocket money. So they're not playing games. They're going after the people, after the fact. And all of a sudden, like, that judge all of a sudden, he don't work here anymore. Where'd he go? They don't want to advertise that judges can be prosecuted or are going to disappear into the woodwork because of false and misleading statements because they don't want the criminals, the real criminals, the drug dealers, the bank robbers, the murderers to know how to get out of trouble. Okay, we don't, we don't do those. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Right. Sig, we we'll use your autograph. Yes. What happens if we didn't do that? Well, I did it. If you, I'm the I'm the federal judge on your case, so I have the authority on there. But as far as your personally, you should autograph that stamp, making you a postmaster, banker, and judge of your own claim to bring it to the attention. So whatever documents you still are in possession of at home, sign, autograph those. Fingerprint is a notary. Do not go to a notary. That's a fiction. Use your index finger or your thumb. And that is your notary on your autograph, like what you've got there. Oh, across their stamp? Yeah. Oh, whether you do or don't, uh, that isn't going to change your authority. Yeah. No, as long as you signed your postage stamp there, that's the legal one. Because that's not a that's not a uh, an imitation. I thought you were applying it to their stamp. But we have I I sign I sign that stamp because I'm a federal judge, okay. and I I'll walk in there and say, hey, I signed your stamp. I'm a federal judge here, same as I am on my vessel. So I can trump their ability to move paper from one jurisdiction to another. Question. I do. I just, well, you see when you're in front of the clerk, she doesn't have a stamp or don't have a stamp pad. We carry stamp pads when I go to court. If nothing else, lick your finger and do it. You got DNA, fingerprint, and autograph. That's a triple certification. Okay, that's another thing. One is an opinion, folks. So if one of you stands up and says something, it's an opinion. Two is a certification. Now you got to be certified. That's legal. Three is an authorization that gets to move things. Four more is a class action. You need 16 or more to bring attention to the attorney general, which we have, I think we've got over 16 cases now in Indiana. So the Indiana state attorney general can get involved. Right now, Kamala Harris in California is the attorney general that is working with the, because uh, she's got over 100 of these now, and so they were able to use a class action and 